Hi everybody, this is Osprey I from MyChartCoach.com and in this video we're going to take a look here at the uh, technology sector. Um, yeah, first up we've got um, um, the futures here. It looks like uh, trying to get a bounce. Um, you can see we've got a green across the board here. Uh, slightly up, not not a big bounce right now, but you can see VIX is, is taking a little breather today. Uh, a, a red candle is forming in futures trading tonight. And, and the NASDAQ is what we're really watching um, with Apple reporting reporting tomorrow after the close. Um, the technology sector is going to try to get a bounce here. And so I'll go over the charts with you. You can see the S&P 500 is a, a, you know, Apple is a big part of that as well. And so that would get a pop as well as the Dow Jones. Um, if you look here at QQQ, okay, it, it came down and, and dropped below the middle Bollinger Band today. Uh, that was the key level to hold. It did not hold that level at 177.75. It is hitting now the 50-day simple moving average currently at 174.69. That's the big level to hold. It held this level back in June when that level was tested and that, that was the reload level, bounced off that level and continued heading higher. And so it's going to be all about holding this, this 174 support zone. If it drops below, that's going to signal downside risk. You can see it dropped down to 169. If this 164.69 level holds, the key level to break above is going to be that middle Bollinger Band. <clears throat> if you look at TQQQ here, same setup. It came down, closed just below that middle Bollinger Band on Friday, that dotted purple line. And then on uh, today, it, it closed just below that 50-day simple moving average. That's the first close be below that level since uh, back here in May. And, and so you do not want to see that level turn into resistance if you're below 60-50. Um, you know, if, if that 60-50 level turns into resistance, you could see a drop down here to, to $56 and test that 100-day simple moving average in lower Bollinger Band down there at 57 you could see that that is lined up with the uh, support from down here in June. So it's going to be real important that it bounces off this level tomorrow. Um, if you look at SQQQ, this is uh, short, the, the QQQ. It, it is uh, uh, trying to uh, it is it's trying to break out and get a new uptrend going. As you can see here, it closed above the middle Bollinger Band on uh, yet today. It closed above the middle Bollinger Band at 1291. Um, that that was the key level to break. If that level turns into support, it could get a new uptrend going. The last couple times that it's gotten above that that middle Bollinger Band, you know, well actually this one it got a run. But but the, the the last two times back in April here and in June, it failed to hold that level and it pulled back. It, it keeps hitting, uh, okay, so first off, that 50-day simple moving average, that was the big level to break in June. So if it can get above 1367, that would be the signal that SQQQ wants to head higher. Then you'd be looking for a run up to 15 30 and possibly uh, 1475 this uh, high close here from back in June um, yeah if, if it fails to break 1367 you could see that 13 level uh, retested that uh, middle Bollinger Band at 1290 it has to hold that level to keep the uptrend going okay take a look at Facebook Facebook was down 2% today so it's been uh, you know it had that huge gap down I mean that was a monster gap down and it was holding the 300 day simple moving average at 175 that level uh, broke on uh, Friday it closed just below low and today it, it dropped lower. It bounced off of this 400 day simple moving average support zone down here at 165.78. That's the key level to hold. It, it, it also came down here. There's a gap between uh, high of day here on the 25th and low of day on the 26th. You can see it closed just above the top of the gap level. So uh, you know you want to see it stay above that top of the gap. If it came down and, and dropped below the bottom of, or the top of the gap, it, the, the downside risk is it breaks through that 400 simple moving moving average comes down here to 161 and fills the gap. A drop down to that level would fill it. Now, now to the upside, if you can get back above that 175 resistance zone, that would signal it could get a bounce going and then you'd be looking for a run back up to EMA4 at 182. Okay, so keep an eye on the 15 minute chart. You can see here it hit that 50 simple moving average of the green line on Friday, but it failed to break. It hit that level again today at the close. So, so if it breaks above 171.62, look for a run up to the bottom of the gap. The bottom of the gap is 180. That's going to be the big level to break. Just above that is the 100 simple moving average at 183. Okay, take a look at Amazon here. It, it, Amazon had a, 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 a bad day today, all right, down 2%. Um, it, it, the chart is breaking down. It did close below the middle Bollinger Band today. That is a red flag. It needs to get back above that level that's currently 1785. That's the key, uh, that, that's the key level right now. Uh, trading below 1785 signal 
most downside risk. There is this uh, little gap here uh, between high of day on this candle and low of day on this candle. And so a drop down to this uh, uh, green line would fill the gap. So down here, just below 1760, um, that would fill the gap. You know, many times a, a downward gap fill would be a, you know, a, a, a catalyst for a bounce. Um, also, the 1750 level is a key support level as well. That was the high from back in June. And, and so that should provide support on a pullback as well. So look for a bounce off the 1750 to 1760 level. It would be really a major downside risk if these three levels, the middle Bollinger Band and uh, these the support zones fail to hold because it could drop down here to that 50-day simple moving average at 17.15. That's the downside risk level. If it trades back above 17.85, you know that that would be uh, bullish. You know, it, it, you might get some action like this here, where it's trying to hold on to that support level and keep that uptrend going. Um, today, the the bearish one black crow reversal pattern that formed here on the 26th on this black on this candle right here, the the white candle followed by the red candle after the gap down open and the close lower. That 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 signal downside risk. This red candle today confirmed the pattern from the 26th and so that pattern has been confirmed so now you're looking for a bullish reversal pattern for Amazon so keep an eye on the 15 minute chart it needs to break above the middle Bollinger Band at 1783 if it can get above that level then you're looking for a run up to the 50 simply moving the average at 1806 as long as that middle Bollinger Band's resistance it signals the bears are still in control okay keep an eye on Apple here uh, they do report tomorrow after the close uh, this is the big pullback leading into earnings um, yeah w w it's going to be interesting to see See if it can hold this 50-day simple moving average. It held that level today at 189. That's the big level. It did drop below the middle Bollinger Band at 190, so that's a red flag. But it needs to get back above 190 to keep this uptrend going. A drop below 189 would signal downside risk, and you could see a drop down to 185. That's the lower Bollinger Band. And below that it is the 100-day simple moving average at 181.70. Um, it, it sounds like it could be a mixed bag with earnings, uh, you know, with uh, uh, possibly, uh, you know, some uh, phone sales down, but other things doing better. So uh, it'll pay to do your uh, DD on this one uh, with, with the way the um, tech sector has been punished lately. And, and uh, Apple here at all all-time highs, forming what looks like a potential uh, double top here. You have a top in June, and then now you have the top in, in July. It did make a higher close here, so that, that is good, um, just last week. But, but, but it's going to need to break above that level. So it's going to need to have a blockbuster earnings here to... Uh, to, to be able to blow through this 195 resistance level, um, it, you know, it, it is down. You know, the one bright side is is they did pull it back. It's down three days in a row, so that's giving you a little bit of upside if it can, uh, you know, if things go well. If you look at the Apple 15 minute chart, you can see it's really consolidated here. The Bollinger Bands are super tight. All right, between 190 and 189.50, below 189.50 signals downside risk, and above 190 signals upside potential. Um, so yeah, we'll have to just see how this plays out. Look how they channeled it out hardcore today. So yeah, there's a lot of uh, consolidation with the big volume spike. Um, if you can get back above this green line, uh, the, the 50 simple moving average at 191, that would be a big signal that, that it's heating up. If it breaks to the upper Bollinger Band, that's going to signal that it's it, it's they're, they're trying to bounce it. If it drops down below 189.50, that's going to signal more downside risk. Okay, take a look at Netflix here. Now you have RSI hitting 29. It's, it's it, Now it's at oversold levels. You have Fasto way down here at 1. I mean, this is extreme oversold levels where you usually get at least a technical bounce. Um, right now, uh, this is an old chart. I wanted to show you this one. It's uh, bouncing uh, or hitting, not bouncing yet, but it's hitting this April 6th or 17th. Uh, closing price, and so that's going to be the uh, the big level to break uh, or hold. It, it, it could possibly bounce off of this uh, 335 support zone. Um, it, the, the big level to break above is going to be this 100-day simple moving average, at basically at 345. If you can get back above that, uh, the, the EMA4 at 350 is the next big level, the pink line. Notice how the candle has been riding the pink line lower. Once they finally let it close above EMA4 at 350, that's going to be your big clue that it's ready to actually have a sustainable bounce. Now, now many times when you have a strong downturn like that, this you can get a short cover rally rally back up to EMA4, but then it fails to break and the, and the stock continues lower. Um, you know, right now the kind of the line in the sand is this 100-day simple moving average. Above 345 is going to signal
signal upside potential. Below 345 is going to signal more downside risk. Okay, so uh, Netflix is not looking pretty here. It is busting through that lower Bollinger Band. Um, you know, the, 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 the downside risk is, is you have the 200-day simple moving average way down here at 283.54. You are going to have uh, high close horizontal uh, support here. You know, you're going to have support off of these key levels. Um, but, but, but it's just really bearish if it stays below that 100-day simple moving average. Um, bearish engulfing uh, reversal pattern had formed here on Friday. The red candle engulfed the candle on Thursday. And so today's red candle is confirming that bearish engulfing pattern. So now uh, you're looking for a Netflix uh, bullish reversal pattern to form. Um, in order to get the reversal going, the first step is going to be getting above this dotted purple line on the 15-minute chart. And that's currently at 337.32. If they can get above that level, then that would be a signal that's trying to get the bounce going. And then you have the high uh, close here uh, from Friday which will be a big level to break, uh, just below 343, and then it has to work its way up to that 50 simple moving average. You know, you could get a short cover rally, but until it gets above the middle Bollinger Band and the 50 simple moving average, it'll signal the bears are still strongly in control. Okay, let's look at Google here. So Google has been pulling back. Um, yeah, so it, it formed bearish engulfing reversal pattern on Friday as well, and so now that, that pattern has been confirmed today. And so, uh, yeah, you can see the big red candle on Friday was a a, a red flag. Bearish engulfing is one of the stronger uh, reversal patterns. Um, and many times it does get confirmed. It's just a strong signal that the bears are clearly in control. Uh, the close below EMA4 was a red flag as well, at, at, at basically at, one, uh, at 1247 there. That signaled downside risk. And so right now it's filling the gap. There's a gap between high of day on the 23rd and low of day on the 24th. And so what you can see here is, is a drop down there to the bottom of the gap. And, and that could set up a technical bounce. Just below it is the middle Bollinger Band at, 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 at uh, 1,200. 1,200 looks like a, a, a key level to bounce off of technically. You know, the last time it, it got a downtrend going it, it, and it broke below EMA 13 um, support, it, it got below the middle Bollinger Band and it dropped all the way down to the 50-day simple moving average. Not sure if that's going to be uh, the type of move today. I mean, if Apple gets hammered, you know, you got to expect the, the technology stocks to drop lower. Um, that, that could set up the potential middle Bollinger Band test and possibly drop down to that 50-day simple moving average if it got super ugly. Um, but, but if it came down here and filled this gap around 12.15, that could be, uh, uh, and, you know, Apple does well. You know, obviously that, that's going to really help the other technology stocks, and this is where it could get a technical bounce. Um, the, the EMA 13 currently at 12.26 is the key level to hold. You can see it's holding that support level now. There hasn't been a close below that level since this new uptrend began back here in the first week of July. And so a close below would be a bearish change in trend. That, that, that's when you had the drop back here in June all the way down to the 50-day simple moving average. So that's just something to keep in mind. Um, if you look at Google here on the 15-minute chart, it's hitting the key support level right now. You know, it's got a, a multiple bottom here on, uh, on the 300 simple moving average. This is the big level to hold on this chart. Many times stock will hit this level and this is where they find the reversal. Um, and once it gets above the middle Bollinger Band at 1231, that, 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 that'll be a good sign. And then it has the two moving averages here, the 50 and the 200 simple moving averages at 12. 40 basically at 1245. You know, it's going to need to get above those levels to get a sustained bounce going to run up here to that 100 simple moving average at 1259, which is the top moving average on this 15 minute chart. They drove it down really hard. It channeled out sideways here today. So it's trying to set up. I mean, I think, you know, what happens many times is if you have a, anything that's down uh, under pressure heading into a Friday, you know, and down heavy on a Friday, and then it's down again on a Monday. Many times Tuesday is the bounce day. That's the way the pattern works many times for the stock market. So we are keeping our eye out for a technical bounce for the technology sector tomorrow. Um, it, you know, breaking above this high close from uh, uh, Friday, which is lined up with that 200 simple moving average at 1240, would be a, a, a bullish signal. Okay, let's look at Microsoft. Another uh, uh, big pullback here. Um, you know, it, it got uh, down and uh, pulled back down to that middle Bollinger Band. Um, it's currently uh, testing support. Um, if it can uh, hold this middle Bollinger Band at 104.57, this is going to be the reload level. It looks like there's a, a, a very small gap here. 
between low of day on this candle and high of day on uh, this candle here. So if it did run down to that 100 day or 50 day simple moving average at 101.71, it could come down here and fill the gap. So so uh, break below 104.50. Look for a possible drop down to 102 to fill the gap. Uh, you know if it filled the gap and it hit that 50 day simple moving average, that'd be a really good setup for a technical bounce. That's where it bounced off of in June. Um, you know it, if it holds this uh, middle Bollinger band, then, then what you're looking for is a retrace back up to that high at 111. You know, holding the middle Bollinger Band would signal the uptrend is still intact, but now that it's below EMA's 413, it is a major red flag. That's the first close below EMA 13 since back here on the second trading day of July. It's a clear signal that, that this strong uptrend has reversed here. Now, 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 it could be intact if the middle Bollinger Band holds, but if it breaks below, it could get a sustained downtrend going. Okay, let's look at Microsoft here on the 15-minute chart. Now, you can see here it got below that 50 or, or 300 simple moving average uh, on uh, 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 today. The, the, the opening, uh, you know, it tried to hold that on Friday. It got, you know, it bounced off that level and got back above. And then today on the first candle, it broke below. And then right now, it's working on the 400 simple moving average. Um, you know, that, that that's currently at 105.81. And, and then that middle Bollinger Band at 105.51. So getting above those two levels would set up a, a, a potential move up here to that 50 and 300 simple moving averages, basically 107 is going to be the big level to break above once ab above 106. Um, you know, it's got a lot of work to do to get a reversal going, but the first things first, you know, uh, you know, it just has to get above this middle Bollinger Band and turn it into support. Okay, take a look at Twitter. It's been uh, totally punished uh, big time here. Now, now you've got RSI down here at 24 and Fasto at 2. It's at very oversold levels, so you have to be on the lookout for a technical bounce. Check out how the last two candles have formed completely below the, the lower Bollinger Bollinger Band. The, the, the lower Bollinger Band is way up here at 35.85 and the share price is down here at 31.38. You know, that, that that's a, a, you know, a big move to the downside, setting up a, a very uh, technically oversold condition. So, so now you, you, you know, look for a potential bounce. Uh, in my opinion, it looks like this 200-day uh, simple moving average at 30.23 is a prime target. Um, you know, this would be a perfect place for it to uh, bounce off of tomorrow. So if you see 30 tested tomorrow, and that level holds, that's where you could get a nice uh, technical bounce. I mean, you could get a 20% move here just back up to EMA4. Um, EMA4 is up here at 36 you know, uh, or close to that, you know, you could get a nice 15% move, you know, a $5 move just back up to that EMA4, where it could hit EMA4 and the 100-day simple moving average at 36, still be a total piece of junk and keep dropping lower, you know, so so th this is, the, the pullbacks here are pretty extreme, and, and so they are setting up, you know, some nice trading opportunities once support is found and, and we get a reversal going, and so you could see on uh, Friday here, the Bollinger Bands got super tight, but, but it broke down to the down side. See how they got tight, but the, the candles are below the middle Bollinger Band, and this, dot, this solid purple line is the lower Bollinger Band. Notice how they're breaking out to the downside. What bulls wanted to see is they wanted to see a breakout to the upside. You know, they wanted to see the candles going above the middle Bollinger Band, pushing through the upper Bollinger Band, and that would have been the signal, okay, yeah, Twitter setting up for the bounce. But this move, this action on Friday was your clue that there was more downside risk. So anybody holding long going into Friday, uh, you know, that was just a bad call. Uh, the charts were signaling that that it was going to head lower, and, you know, better entry points at, at, at levels lower. Uh, you know, you don't want to catch the falling knife. Um, so what you need, you know, a good thing to do is to wait for the 15-minute chart to heat up. And so once it gets above this middle Bollinger Band and, the, and breaks out above this tight channel, currently at 3163, that's where it could uh, heat up and get moving. And, and then, you know, it needs to get above that 50 simple moving average at 3328 to get a sustained bounce going. You know, there's this big gap here. Uh, what, what we look for on this type of play is a run back up to the bottom of the gap. And so, you know, you could get a run all the way up to 3750. That's the bottom of the gap level. So there's a lot of upside potential for a technical bounce here with Twitter. So don't take your eye off of it, all right? Uh, okay, let's look at INTC here. Intel has been getting punished as well. It, it, it's down here below 30 on RSI. Th th this is where you get a technical bounce. Um, it, look right here at, at this drop. Okay, so this this candle right here, this red candle and white candle, that represents the move below 30 on RSI right here. 
you know, the only time it dipped below in the last several months, uh, and, and that set up a perfect opportunity to load for a nice uh, rebound. Is that going to happen again here, or, or, or are things different? And and, and now, uh, you know, the technology sector has much more downside risk. We'll see. Um, right now, what you're looking for is a move back up to that 200-day simple moving average at 48.45. This, what you know, you've got a nice uh, bounce candle here on uh, today that formed. Look at the long lower wick at 46 off of 46.50. A lot of people were loading off low of day today. You know, this killed the premium on the puts. You know, the calls are trying to set up, but it has to break above this 200-day simple moving average. You've got this big gap here. You know, this it's going to be a tough level to break the bottom of the gap. And so any run up here to this uh, EMA4 at 49.30, you know, that could be in, in the bottom of the gap. You know, which is lined up with EMA4 right now. You know that 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 could be the top of any bounce. It would need to close above that level to get a sustained bounce going. Now, if EM, if the 200-day simple moving average remains resistance, you can see here drop below the the support level from June. Um, you know, th this 48.50 level th that's going to signal more downside risk. You know, the the the, the downside is the 200-day moving average uh, re remains resistance and it works its way down to the 300-day simple moving average down at 44. Okay, if you look at the 15-minute chart for Intel. It's heating up. It closed above the 50 simple moving average and above the middle Bollinger Band. So that's a, that's a good clue that, that it's trying to get something going here. Um, you can see it had this tight channel into the close. Um, you know, it's been, uh, you know, really channeling out hard down here. People are loading. You, you know, bounce players are trying to time this thing. And uh, the, for, for, you know, my strategy is if it can stay above the, uh, you know, this is the gap. This represents the gap over here. If it can stay above the uh, 50 simple moving average in the 15 minute chart then it's going to be in play all right so it, that, that's the stop loss level if it drops below 4760 that, that that's a sell signal if it holds that level it's in play for a technical bounce it's always super risky trying to uh, you know catch a falling knife here and, and I, I feel like uh, you know a safer way to do it is you, you trade off the intraday charts and for me I like this 15 minute chart and so if it stays candle stay above the green line and the dotted purple line here that's going to signal it's in play for a bounce and then I'm looking for a run up here here to the bottom of the gap at 49.25 if it can break through this 48.25 resistance zone and through the, the, the high close here for, in the 48 zone from today. It, it, you know, it's setting up. It just has to follow through. AMD has been on a really nice run. Now, now this thing had been pushing uh, super high here. You know, it's forming, uh, you know, to me, th th this is looking like a, a, a bearish doji star type of uh, reversal pattern with, with the candle, the, the doji forming above the, the, you know, but you have the black candle with the black candle. So, you know, you needed a white candle followed by the, the black candle for a true uh, bearish doji star reversal pattern. But 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 nonetheless, you know, these two candles here are our signal. The chart it is pretty frothy here. All right. Now, now, it can keep pushing higher with these dojis. I mean, you can see back here, it's, it, it's formed plenty of dojis while in the uptrend and kept pushing higher. It's just that this these candles are forming above the upper Bollinger Band. Notice how back here these dojis formed below the, the, the purple line. Once you get above the purple line, that's where they can and work their way back in. The chart's still super strong. It, it, it would just mean that there's potential potential for, for a drop down to EMA4 at 1848. Um, that is the key level to hold. As long as EMA4 is holding, you know, the signal is to stay long and that, that the bulls are still in control. Once it drops below that level, you have to keep your eye on this gap down here. There's a gap between high of day on this candle and low of day on this candle. A drop to just about 1650 here, just below, that would fill the gap. Um, you know, you want to see it stay above the, the breakout level. So you have uh, the, the, the breakout, uh, th this high close here. You can see it broke out last week above the, the, the closing price, the high close from June. And so on and any kind of pullback, you want to see that re turn into support. You don't want to see it get back in this previous sideways channel. That would be a major red flag. So on any kind of pullback, it's really important it stays above 17. Um, if you look down here, you can see uh, the black candle formed above the upper Bollinger Band. That's the only time that you had, uh, you know, you had an upper Bollinger Band, a couple candles here that formed above the upper Bollinger Band. Even though they were white candles, the candles still worked into the bands. So even with the stock like AMD, when it gets above that upper Bollinger Band, the candles like to work their way in. It bounced right off of support and it kept pushing higher. And that's something that you could possibly see here. Um, you know, you've got a huge volume behind the move here. Giant volume, big money flow. That pullback there, that 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 dip from the high, that, that's, that, that killed the, the options premium for 
for the calls. And it, it, it is a red flag that, that, that people were taking profits. Okay, so, so you just have to be on the lookout here for AMD breaking down. Um, what I would watch is the, the on the 15-minute chart, I would keep an eye on the 50 simple moving average at 1927. In my opinion, a drop below that would be the sell signal. If the 50 simple moving average is holding, keep riding. There's more upside potential. It has to break above this 20 resistance zone. That's the high close from today to head higher. Fill the break above 20, and that'll signal downside risk. But but if it can hold that 1927 level, the, the 50 simple moving average, that's a signal it could keep pushing higher. Now, now once it breaks below that level, that's when you're going to see a potential drop, and, and, and it could you know possibly come down here to 1825 and test that uh, uh, 100 simple moving average. Okay, thanks a lot for viewing this video. If you'd like to learn more about char charts and technical analysis, please come check out the chat. I'll post the link uh, on the, the YouTube page. Okay, thank you.